quick video this morning. I just wanted to make everyone aware that there's been a really big update to my preset library, my Helix preset library, the big one. We're now up to 85 different presets, which I know is ridiculous and sounds like a lot. Uh, there's a little bit of something in there for everyone, and this is just something I've been working on over the last two years that I've owned the HX Stomp. Uh, they're built specifically for the small HX Stomp with a maximum of eight presets, but the work on any of the devices, except for HX Edit, of course, because of the amp blocks. Uh, so anyone who had purchased this library in the past has a free update that includes everything I've just added. The way you'll access that is find the introductory PDF that was included with your initial download, open it up, go to the very first page, and right at the top of the page there's a big old link to a Google Drive folder. You can't miss it. I do recommend saving your presets as you have them right now in case you've made any changes that you like or you prefer the older version of the preset for some reason. Although I think I have really improved everything. Everything sounds a little bit better. I've organized everything also, so it makes sense going between presets, what all the foot switches are doing. There's a little bit more consistency. And I've also reorganized the entire library to sort by what instrument each preset was created for. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, if you haven't downloaded the preset library and you'd like to, there's a link in the description. Use the code TAKE5, all capital letters, T-A-K-E-5, no space, the number five, uh, and that'll take $5 off your order. To talk about all the presets that I've added, we have at least 20 since my last update. Uh, just a total here, we've got six acoustic guitar presets for a flat top acoustic guitar with a piezo pickup. We have three bass guitar presets, 22 presets for electric guitar with humbuckers, 13 presets for an electric guitar single coils, 11 presets for a jazz guitar, whether that's a semi-hollow or a full hollow guitar. We have 21 presets for violin, now acoustic and electric, and eight special effects presets. To go into that for a second, uh, I created a preset that'll get you Pat Metheny's synth guitar sound. I created a preset to emulate the Boss OC3 polyphonic setting, so the top two strings on your guitar shift down an octave, the rest stay at pitch. I've also got a couple presets for ambient music creation, uh, and one preset that I call Dynamic Freeze, which is a special way of controlling how loud your sustaining uh, signal is, and this is without using the freeze block, so you'll be, you'll be able to save a lot of DSP as well. Now, in addition to all those presets, I've also added a total of 20 impulse responses, each available in four different sample rates. So if you're using the Helix, use the 48 kilohertz sample rate. That's the internal rate of the unit, although you can use any of them. Uh, but I included all these different sample rates, so you can use them with different modelers or in your DAW if you want to. Uh, and basically what they are, they're acoustic impulse responses captured of this guitar. And they're designed as a corrective EQ to hopefully make your acoustic guitar sound a little bit more realistic. Five IRs if you've got a generally bright sounding undersaddle piezo, five IRs if you have a piezo that's kind of dark, five IRs if you have a body transduction system such as the K&K Pure Mini or the Journey Tech system that I installed recently, and then lastly five IRs if you're using a magnetic pickup with your acoustic. You can use these IRs, they're built into a lot of presets, the electric guitar presets, of course they're in the acoustic guitar presets, this is something that I wasn't able to do before but now I have all this equipment. And since I'm going to be offering a bunch of aftermarket impulse responses, I thought I'd make an entire set and just throw it in with my preset library. Now, in addition to the general improvements I've made to every preset for tone, I've been able to reference on a couple different sources in addition to when I was working on the Queen Mary last year uh, on their entire sound system. I, I built the presets, uh, took them, modified them a little bit after my experience working with that eight-piece band with horns and keyboards and stuff. And then finally I sat at the front of house system and I tuned them more. Since then, I've tuned them a little bit more, refined them a little bit more on FRFR speakers. I also have a new JBL tower uh, that I got recently and I've been using that to fine tune the presets even more and just kind of try and find a good middle ground so that they'll be able to suit as many situations as possible. In addition to that, I've also reworked every single preset, every single foot switch. So with Helix Update 3.10, the HX Stop now has the ability to assign custom labels and custom colors to each foot switch. Uh, prior to this, what you would see when I would assign uh, multiple parameter adjustments to a foot switch, it would come up as multiple on the larger devices or on the HX stomps, they would show up as channel volume or level, overdrive, whatever parameter was changing, and you could cycle through them. I fixed that now, now that we have the ability, and it just says very clearly what the intended effect of that foot switch does. So oftentimes when I change overdrive parameters, in the amp block. I'm also changing the bias, the bias X, the sag controls, uh, some EQ adjustments, and there will be like five or six parameter adjustments, even though really what I'm going for is just overdrive. So I've changed the color to red there instead of white. 
uh, and it just says overdrive just to make it simple it looks a lot cleaner and I've been excited about that that took a few days to do that also as you read through that introductory PDF which I highly recommend there's a lot of information on setting up your helix unit global settings how I like to use it how I build my presets who they're for um, and and some other things you might consider as, you, as you're building a rig around your HX stomp um, but as you go through that, that document, you'll notice that there is a huge file directory list. And I've put detailed info on every single preset about what instrument it was designed for, what is the situation you might be using it for, how all the foot switches are laid out. And you're generally going to realize that most of the time, foot switch one is triggering uh, a primary effect such as delay or modulation. Foot switch two is going to control overdrive, whether that's coming from a pedal or amp parameters. Uh, foot switch 3 is going to be your solo boost most of the time. Foot switch 4 is going to change reverb parameters. Foot switch 5 will be a secondary effect like modulation, a second delay, uh, maybe like wah or something. Uh, but generally I've just organized every preset so that they have some sort of consistency to them so that as you go between them, you know, it's a little bit easier. So hope that all makes sense. Anyway, if you've purchased it in the past, again, your update's free. Just find that introductory PDF and get the link at the very top of the first page. If you don't have it anymore, find that email from me when you purchased it for the first time uh, and just reply to it. I'll be happy to send you the updated library there. And again, if you haven't purchased it, there's a link in the description. Use that coupon code I mentioned earlier, $5 off. Thanks for all your support these last couple years, and I hope to be adding to this in the future again. Take care. See you in the next video.